YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by and I hope you'll decide to hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm sharing a recipe with you. I've, I'm doing a two in one. It's gonna be shown in two different parts. One is fresh tomato basil soup, homemade. The other is grown up grilled cheese. Now, the ingredients that I'm gonna use are extra sharp white cheddar slices, thick slices, but I would prefer Gruyere, but I could not find it. The white stuff, you know how my husband doesn't like it. And thick cut brioche bread. Now, that's all you're gonna need other than, uh, well, that's, that's all we need actually. I was thinking something else, but no, we don't. That's all the ingredients we're gonna need. So the only thing we're gonna do is take two slices. My mother-in-law and sister-in-law are coming over to eat with us. So that'll be fun. And um, I just took two of the slices of the brioche bread, put the thick cut, uh, extra sharp white cheddar on it. I'm gonna take and put it on both sides. I'm gonna do this side first so I can try to hide it from my husband so he don't know until the very end. And I'm gonna lay it face down. I'm gonna put this on about medium to medium high heat because that cheese is thick, the bread is thick, and it needs time to melt that cheese. Now, I probably would have gotten my griddle out, but I have got, um, so much stuff over here where I babysat today, and I've been wanting to cook this meal for Chad and I, and I, um, I'm not worried about it. So I'm doing what I do. There's no need to pretend this is real life. My counter's a mess. When I say a mess, that means there are a bunch of stuff over here on it. And I'll insert a picture if I remember to take a picture of it. I don't want to ever come across as somebody that has it all together, that knows what they're doing. I'm not a know-it-all. I'm just somebody here trying to share recipes, have fun, uh, spread love, laughter, and good times. And like my apron says, the secret ingredient is always love. So if you make your food with love, your crafts with love, do your home decor and renovations with love, entertain with love, gift by for people with love, you can do lots of things and not have to spend any money. Very little, very little. And I'm gonna share some of those ideas coming up in my December videos. So you wanna stay tuned for that. So if you've not subscribed, I would love for you to do that. Also, I would love for you to follow me on my Instagram and I'll insert that link up here. And um, with that being said, if you do something for someone and you're doing it with a loving heart is what this means then they're gonna feel it. They're gonna know it. They're gonna taste it. It's gonna look like it, all the things. So I, I had a great example of that. My mom was, and is, she's still alive, thank God. Uh, one of the most giving, selfless people I know. My husband is also like that. And uh, my mother, I'm having a severe hot flash right now, excuse me, and my husband didn't want me to turn the air up because his mom's coming over. I'm melting down people, and you women that are my age know what that means if you're having hot flashes. Excuse me. So, anyway, um, what I was gonna say is, is that, um, I will be sharing in December some of my gift ideas that are affordable. Um, we have a family of about 25 on Chad's side and my side, so about 50 people. That's just siblings, nieces and nephews and parents. So we have a lot of people to buy for. I try to do things that are thoughtful, but um, not really expensive or I'll make something. So I'm gonna share some of those ideas with you and it's stuff that all of you all could do. It's affordable, it's easy, it's cheap. I don't want to say cheap, but it really is cheap. But the people feel loved when they get it. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me get some more cheese. So anyway, I need to get my spatula 
And guys, this is so easy to make, but it's so yummy. So, so yummy. I love it. And you can do it with any kind of cheese you like. Uh, I also would like pepper jack cheese. I would like um, Monterey Jack or Kobe Jack. I think all those would be good. I like spicy and stuff like that, but I don't know that my husband would really care for it. and I'm just gonna flip it over. Flip this over. Chad, would you get out some crackers for the soup, please, or whatever? Well, I guess we don't need, well, I guess some people might still like crackers, even though the grilled cheese. You might want to even take that those play settings off of the table so that they can eat over there. I'll take care of it. Huh? I'll take care of it. You'll take care of it, won't you, honey? <laughs> is my, my cutting board from Pampered Chef. And I'm not trying to be fancy, I'm trying to find something that I can cut them on that won't melt. Look how beautiful that is. That's the other side. I like to use these for my charcuterie board, but I'm gonna put their grilled cheese on those. Oh, I told you my counter's full, I don't even know where to put it. I guess I can put it right there. Okay, look at that, how good that looks. Isn't that amazing? So yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and put this side down and then I'm going to make some also with um, regular sliced cheese. Or at least one more. I don't know if his niece is coming or not. So there's four of us. Let's make four. I'm just gonna put that on there. Could do two slices. I think I'll do that since that cheese is so thick on that. I think I'll do two slices on this. best way to cut those would be with a serrated knife. I hope that that won't cut my board. over.
burn it. I'm trying to get my butter and stuff on it. Okay. This is going to be so yummy, guys. So yummy. a little bit. I'm going to turn it off. Leave those on there. And I'm going to go ahead and taste our soup. I'll insert this in my soup video because it was so hot I couldn't eat it. Mm. I think I could have um Blended the onions some more to make it a little bit more creamy, but I was afraid of using that too much. Okay, this is what you do, guys. You take your grilled cheese, dip it in that tomato soup. Hmm, nothing like comfort food on a cold, rainy day. I got out my pajamas just for you all. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> mm. So, I hope you make this video. Thank you all for watching. And if you have any comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you and interact with my subscribers and followers. And like I said, there's many variations that you can do to the grilled cheese. But the recipe will always be linked in my de description box. I hope you have a great evening. God bless you and talk to you soon. Bye.